Watcher, today I'm going to show you how to fix a shed window. This window that my son broke about a year ago. I'm so lazy sometimes, I've just had a bit of wood up here covering it so no rain could get in. This is a really simple window, it's not a standard sort of puttied window. I'm probably going to fix this either with just screws or uh, sorry, nails or maybe just a little bit of plastic. I'll show I'll take you through how to do that today. So I'm driving around to the glazing shop. Best not to go places like B and Q and Wix for glazing if they sell them. Find yourself a local bespoke dedicated glazing company and go and get your glazing from them. Now despite this being a simple job, there are quite a few tools that you need. Obviously you're dealing with non-safety glass, so safety eyewear is critical. Once you take out the, the timbers, uh, essentially glazing beads, you need to get the, the um, nails out. So either a pair of pliers or a pair of uh, something to get the nails out. Um, a nail puller, you know, one of these ones is pretty good. You'll need to drive the nails back in. I tend not to use a big hammer for that. I'll just use a little pin hammer. If you're using a hack knife to get putty off, you will probably want to use a bigger hammer. I tend to do that. Um, you know, in terms of applying, if you've got putty, uh, you can use a putty knife or one of these flexible sort of filling knives will do the job. We've got some pins in there to put the glazing beads back in. Even if you haven't got glazing beads and you're using putty, you want to hold the glass in with some pins. So we use those. Now, looking at this, just notice this. This is a little bit flexible. It's, it's not a lot of support in there. And looking at some of these glazing beads here, they're not secured properly. So I'm, before I do this window, I'm just going to go around and I'm going to knock those um, those pins in a little bit just with a little hammer and a punch just to try and strengthen this up a little bit. Just doing this to stabilise the window frame as much as I can. Now you'll notice when I'm doing this, I'm using the small pin hammer. I don't want to create too many vibrations in the glass. I don't want to break the glass. Be careful you don't slip and hit the glass. Keep your finger there, because then you'll be really careful. You won't want to hit your finger either. Now let's see if doing that stiffened this frame up at all. Slightly, not much. Now we've got to remove these old timber glazing bars. Remember this is old 10, 12 year old wood, so this could break. I'm going to use my, I don't know what it's called, I call them nail pullers. Oh uh, yes, I'll get the nail out. Using the same technique I showed you about upholstery, put your thing in and twist it. Oh, bollocks. Broke the wood a little bit. Don't want to break this. You slide this up. It's there, it's there. Come on, no break. It's critical we don't break these. Otherwise the job gets a lot harder. Yeah, that one came out. Just got a bit of a, a nail on the back. Push that out. I'll keep that in there. We can use this in the right position for the next one. Critical. This is a job where you rush it and it takes you so oh that one doesn't want to come it takes you so much longer don't split yes push that back we've got the edge we've got the head we can now roll it and get it out yes now we can use that to come up here oh this one looks like it's going to split 
It's just got a crack around it. It's splitting around the head. No! It's going. Oh, oh the wood split, but not too bad. Oh, oh. Oh. Beautiful. Oh, that's come out the best. You'd expect it to be the best. It's the one underneath the, uh, the overhang of the roof, so it's not got any water on it over the years. Now is the time to prepare the glazing beads for reuse. If you've got nails sticking through, knock them out the other side. Ready for rehammering afterwards. Again, you want to be gentle, it's old wood. You've got to be respectful of this old wood. If you haven't got any nails, now's the time to stick a few in. Raise that going, yeah. Get them, you don't want them poking all the way through, you just want them till they're at the surface. I don't want to put those, the normal size nails that I'd put in, because if you look, the glazing bar is really thin and it will go all the way through the glazing bar. So I want to put some smaller nails in, some shorter ones. Preparation, as in everything in life, is key. Much, much easier to hammer these nails into these sections now than it is going to be when you're offering these up to the window and you're fighting gravity and you're worried about breaking glass. This is the bit where it's broken, so we're going to move this along away from the affected area and put it through the main guts of the window bead, not on the edge like it was before. Okay, that's all four glazing beads ready installing after we've got the glass in. Now's the time to go around have a look at the frame. If you've got a hack knife or a scraper or something use that. Just tidy up the frame. Make sure there's no sharp bits sticking out. You haven't left, haven't left bits of the, the nail. That'll ruin your day. Just clean up your frames. Use a dust brush. Get the dirt and the, and the junk out of your frame. That's it. Okay. Ah, always run your fingers down. Let me show you. Bring you in closer. There, that's the nail that's poking through from the glazing bar the other side. But oh, I haven't driven that one in yet. Right. Okay. I'm going to drive that in now, and I'm going to see if I can put the glass behind it. As you see, that has come through quite a way. This is what I was talking about. About what happens if you put a, 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 on these glazing beads. And now it's too long through, you get issues like that. So now is the dangerous bit. This is where we offer up the glass to see whether it's the right size. Obviously when you give your dimensions to your glaziers, always give them a few mil too short. That seems to be the right size there. Let's get behind this now. Careful, we don't break anything. Now, if you're not used to handling glass, I would advise you to wear gloves. Right, we've got a small gap here and a big, bigger gap here. Same on this side. So rather than turning this around through 180 degrees, I'm just going to use my one of my scrapers to centralise it in the centre there and as much as we can there. Uh, okay, this may fit better if I flip it over. So let's give that a go being aware, remembering that we've got a nail stopping us from putting it out on the other side. So easy to break your glass. Right, let's flip this around, because of course the frame may not be totally square. The glazing may fit better this way. That is a much better fit. Okay, if we were using putty or silicon, this is where we'd, um, the step before where I'd be put the putties in, 
I'll probably do another video to show you how to putty your window properly because this is just a shed window. Up here, I've got all my stuff. I've got my glazing beads here, my hammer, my, my uh, putty knife, my uh, pin puller, and my little stripper there. Everything's to hand. What I don't want to be doing is walking away from this window and leaving it. Um, if, that, if it doesn't work for you, then get a pair of step ladders or something. Put the step ladders next to you so you can quickly reach. Let's take one of the smaller glazing beads. Now this one we need to push in to where that pin is sticking through. Okay, and now we're going to hammer. When you you doing putty, you put a nail in. You keep your 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 hammer on the glass. You don't hold it in front. You put it on the glass and you don't move it. And you rub it backwards and forwards along the glass. Now if you do that, you will never break the glass. What I'm doing here is a risk of breaking the glass because I'm a little bit away. Actual fact, I'm going to move the camera because I'm not looking down my now as I need to, and that's how I'll break the glass. I want to look down it so I can see what's going on. Still not happy about this. I want to put something behind it really in case my, I impact it by accident. Something like six layers. Of sandpaper should do it. And I'm running my hammer along the glass. Now we need to be a bit more. Coming down here. Same here. So instead of going flat, I had it like this. So this end was away from the window because it could turn around and hit it. So I lifted it up and slid it in. Right. If your mitre doesn't go in in the corner like that, especially on things like this, bend it. So create a bend in the middle, you get your mitres in, then let go and it pings back up. And I find when I'm doing small work, just to extend my finger down a little bit, just gives me a little bit more control. So this is a real simple job. But it's just a few little issues that can crop up. Doing this sort of glazing is really, really simple. It's like for like. But it's just those little tips from people that have done it before about, you know, keeping the hammer on the window, not letting it do this, raising it up a little bit, or creating a, another false window surface behind with a you know, double layer of sandpaper or something like that those little tips isn't it that if you haven't done it before you don't know about well one newly glazed window I haven't got to worry about my tools getting wet now there you go job done really simple video works are easy but because I like to waffle on it's probably taken 10 minutes or so for this video just a few pro tips there to help you uh, not to break the window um, what I do is I will find a window and probably have to go and find one in a skip or something that's a single glazed timber window because no one has any anymore. But if you've got a conservation house, you know, a listed house or something and you need that window, then I'll show you how to glaze it properly, how to use the putties. There's quite a few videos on YouTube I've looked at and uh, the, the people that have done it don't seem to have done too many glazed windows before in the past. Um, so I'll show you a few tips on how to do that properly. But that will be a video in the future. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you're one of my subscribers, thank you. If you're not a subscriber already, why don't you just click that subscribe button, hit the bell icon, you'll find out about my future videos coming up and you'll learn some more tips and tricks. Hope you enjoyed it. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. See ya.